Hey there, babushka fuckers. It's another video from that weird ass slav with a fucked up vibrator for a microphone. Representation. Everyone's talking about it. The necessity to accurately, widely and respectfully depict different groups in media. It's an honorable goal by intent, as it allows for members of any minority group to feel welcome in their own communities and all over the world. The results are many and plentiful. They serve as an inspiration for anyone willing to become something not stereotypical of their ethnicity. It lets them know there are superheroes who look like them. There are people reaching emotional and monetary success without hiding who they really are. There is a profound amount of influence that media exposes us to comrades, be it consciously or subconsciously. And for that reason, it's extremely important that we utilize this overbearing influence for good. And honestly, and it pains my red soul to say this, but the capitalists are doing a decent job with this. I mean, the free market economy is a proportional reason for why diverse movies are an actual thing. It's because, my comrades, they make money, a lot of money. But this is exactly where I wanted to begin. Isn't the whole dilemma on what makes something right or wrong based on purpose and intent? You see, brothers, sisters, comrades, and all in between, capitalism supplies us with ethically-looking media content not because it wants to make the Asian boy in the U.S. feel like he belongs, but because he wants the Asian boy's lunch money and his parents' daily bonus. Sure, sure, Hollywood seems like it's stepping up its game on the point of representation but the reason why it's doing this should bring more concern. If today diversity in films pays, then in a bleaker tomorrow, diversity in films could kill. It's always, always about who holds power. And if media content is defined only by the market, its approach to content creation is both corruptible and dangerous. And this is where the main topic comes in. You see, all the way up until this point of the video, I was acting as a stereotypical mock-up of a Slavic individual. If I was doing an African cliché, talking about where are you running, or a fanturu, disgusting Asian reference, you would see through me. But... Because the market is currently not at all concerned with Slavic stereotypes, you see it as funny, as enjoyable. For some reason, being woke about the subjugation of certain cultures is in, while being the same on the topic of others, it is not. This is because their ethics have been, um, I'm going to invent a new English word, marketized. What the fuck does this motherfucker even mean? Well, my tavarishi, it is rather simple. Your publicly stated opinion is what grants you currency among your fellows. The more progressive and sometimes even innovative ideas you present to your friends, the more respect you gain in the market of both oppression and absolute understanding. What's the funniest about this is actually exploited individuals participate in this the least. Someone who gets beat up every day doesn't talk about violence all the time because they are surrounded by it. Well, someone who sees a random slap on the metro makes a whole fucking thing out of it. What do I mean? The most oppressed groups around us talk the least on the topic because they are more than tired of trying to explain struggle to those who have no potential ability to understand it, either out of pure privilege or their isolationist upbringing. So now that I've taken care of this, the way Drake took care of his pedophile charges, let's get back to what we're actually talking about. And that's how positive representation based on profit is both unethical and unpractical. And to continue my example from before, 
Let's talk about Slavs in movies. Ever since I got to see my first film featuring a pale-ass Slavic language talking dude, I've seen a mockery of a stereotype. Not even a stereotype, a mockery of a stereotype. Always alpha, always male, and yet always loses. The Slavic female character is almost always good and is seduced by the Westerner because all her fellow Slavic men are disgusting, sexist fucks They want to leave her a single mother. Sounds familiar? Well, watch a 50s movie that has a black male character in it. It's the same thing. But you see, because an average American will still pay and not complain about a drug dealing, no gray zone, evil Russian main bad guy, it still keeps going on. If you'd ask anyone from my neighborhood about their, I don't know, idol, it would always be a fucking bad guy. Is this because us Slavs are genetically and culturally degenerate and backwards? Or maybe is it because we're led to believe that the only thing for the best of us left to strive towards is a mosh pit hairball of toxic masculinity, criminal intent, and a whole lot of boozing? Please attempt, genuinely do, and tell me in the comments if you can, without googling, remember a Slavic good guy in any movie you ever watched. Except Pavel Chekhov, the member of the Communist Federation of Star Trek. Seriously. J just one. It's kind of ironic, honestly, that I'm talking about this, because I actually am pretty stereotypically Slavic. But alas, uh, I don't see anybody else talk about it, so I might as well. Now... I'm not about to preach to you about the historical oppression of the wider population of my people for centuries or how we are grouped up with Western European whites even though we are considered as lower breeds by any of their conservative and nationalist demographics or how South Slavs endured almost 500 years of slave-like oppression under the Ottomans or how we are equalized with Western culture without having ever participated in slavery of wider global global imperialism, or God forbid about how almost the entirety of what today is considered Eastern Europe has been historically manipulated, divided, conspired against and directly attacked by Western imperial and post-imperial violence. Nah, I'm not gonna bother you with that. I'll just do some Slavic trope like chug a bottle of vodka, <laughs> clock my gun, <laughs> and suka babushka blat. All jokes aside, I want to address two groups of people right now. First, fellow Slavs. Look at the current depiction of our cultural group in media as an honest one, from the gaze of the mainstream West. Understand that this is how you are seen and are going to continue being seen by them. To all the misguided souls believing in some sort of brain-dead wider European quote-unquote culture or even quote-unquote white culture oh my god understand one thing even if this degenerate concept was to be real your people wouldn't be a part of it be a proud motherfucker of the shit your ancestors did and didn't do if you have to and that the great white civilized capitalist and monarchist man of the west didn't and did be proud you threw chains over no one. And to the second group, all you beautiful civilized viewers, most of you are treated well by media at the moment. Some uh, more, some less. But as it improves because of greed, remember one thing. They're not after progress. They're not after acceptance and mutual growth. They're after money. And instead of whips to pacify you, now you use the media to fictionally create the idea of belonging. This kills revolutionary spirit and the pride of struggle. Remember your forefathers and mothers. And don't let the fucking flame die.
in conclusion, Tavarishi, my sons and daughters are probably going to be raised in the same type of movie, showing us as uh, the idiotic go-to bad guys. And I'll be honestly happy about it, because it will show them the true way the enemy sees us. And if we remember their gaze, we will remember their presence. Well, that's it. Thank you for watching, beautiful Tavarishi. If you have the time, please do subscribe and like this shit. If you want me to improve something or you just want to share your thoughts, please do drop a comment. I read all five of them every time. <laughs> Thank you for your time and stay strong. Bye-bye.